the move by the county government of Mombasa to fire 86 doctors after they failed to report to work in line with a return to work formula negotiations with the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union has drawn mixed reactions. Although the order has since been lifted after the officials from the council and the county government held negotiations in a bid to find a resolution on the matter, KMPDU now says that doctors in the private sectors will now join their counterparts in the strike come Monday should their demands fail to be met. By Monday, if these issues are not resolved, doctors in the private sector in Mombasa and the coast region will join in on this action so that we bring to an end the mistreatment of doctors in this country. This comes at a time when the Kenya National Union of Nurses has called on President Uhuru Kenyatta to intervene to end the strike that has seen healthcare services collapse for over a month. We want to ask our members to stay put on the strike, not to be lured, not to go back to work. According to the Nurses Union Secretary General Seth Panyako, the standoff between the two levels of government and the union has led to paralysis of critical health care services in public facilities. There is very, very, very serious, sharp difference between the national government and the county government. We therefore, as a union, humbly request the president to intervene. Panyako denied claims by the Council of Governors that counties had no monies to fund their return to work formula. The national government, through the Minister of Health, has pledged to fund the return to work formula. So the issue of the Council of Governors saying that they do not have money to finance the return to work formula is ill-advised. Solidarity. Clinical officers, on the other hand, downed their tools on Thursday after governors failed to implement the return to work formula they signed with the Ministry of Health last week. Union members plan to have nationwide peaceful demonstrations in protest to the COG's move to deliberately discriminate and frustrate clinical officers starting January 11. So if you think you're safe because... You have access to private practitioners. We treat you. We will not treat you. So that you also feel the pinch of the common manainchi. Separately, Kenya recorded 221 cases of COVID-19, bringing the total cumulative test to 1,081,863. On the positive cases, 201 are Kenyans, while 20 are foreigners. The youngest patient is 4 years, while the oldest is 85 years old. Mombuambogo, K24, The Loop.